quick dev tip. Did you know that you can split lighting into separate channels so that only certain things will be lit and other things will be excluded? So here we've got a skeletal mesh character in the center of our scene with a spotlight lighting it at the moment. So obviously it's a bit dark, we want to add some lights. So we're adding lights. Our character is now illuminated, but we've got these patches of light on the floor which we don't want. So the way we can get around this and is the topic of the quick tip for today is we can use lighting channels. So if we click our lights, we go to light here, click the rollout, keep going down, and we're looking for this, lighting channels. This is where the magic's gonna happen. So you can see we've got three to play with. Now if I turn this off, nothing in the scene is lit. I do channel one, still nothing's lit. The character's not lit. This is because we need to go into the object or the objects that we want and uh, mimic this action on them. So in the character, I'm gonna scroll down until I find the lighting section. Again, hit the rollout lighting channels and if I do channel one that's going to put it in the same as these three point lights here and now you can see he's become illuminated so in this case we probably don't want to get rid of channel zero because if we do that we lose our spotlight from above so in this case I think it's better to leave it on this is super useful because you can you can use it to give pops to certain things let's say you've got a, a chest in your level and it's lit by the scene uh, you might just add in an extra point light let's go channel one We'll have this guy on channel one as well, just to add a little bit of an extra pop to it. It's a really useful one to know about. Definitely give it a go.